when I turned that off. That's weird that that did that. Um, I'm actually going to move this guy back just a smidge and then rotate him forward a smidge. It's not a huge deal, but if I look at my front, my top, I think I'm okay with that. So, I'm sure all my transforms are frozen, but they should be. Skeleton. Uh, mirror joints. Boom. Well, I didn't want a mirror joints because I haven't named anything yet. So, this is clav. This is shoulder. Elbow. And wrist. So for this, I feel like I can probably do this better, and I think I've learned some stuff that could do it, but selected joints, for eye and selected joints, if selected joint does not equal the last joint, parent it to the joint next in the selection. So if it starts with the first joint selected, which would actually be list place zero, it says if that's not the last joint, you parent that joint to the joint in the list in place one, or zero plus one. So it parents it to that joint and then so on. And once it gets to the last joint, it skips it. Uh, all right, so prefix left underscore Again, clav, left clav. Don't know why that's not. I wonder if there's something in the user setup file that I messed up, or if because I'm using a different, the wrong version of Python, maybe. Uh, I don't know. What kind of pop up is this? My commands. Yeah, so this would be a Python. It's importing my commands as commands. It's like a Python script, so I guess I should know what kind of script I'm using. Skeleton, mirror joints. Now we got right, left, uh, and I will parent that to spine. There. So now, going to the front view, let's grab our joint joint. And it goes straight up here, probably somewhere in the like right here. Uh, this will be my first neck joint. We'll turn this head back on. Go to the right view. Okay, I'll probably move this back just a bit. And move this to the base of my head. Okay, right there. And then I'll move this to the top of the head ish. Let's hide this hat for now. Referenced. I have it double set so I don't do it. So, yeah. So I don't want to clone that. just want to go straight down. Thing. And so I just want this. Uh, to work like that. So this will be my head joint. Uh, 
this. I actually need a good jaw pivot, don't I? Uh, maybe so the jaw comes up there, maybe right there. And then I'm going to just parent these to this, parent this to this, and parent this end joint there. So there's a little got a hierarchy there. Um, and uh, my left eye group. So let's, I'm going to make sure to uh, isolate this. All right, my center is not quite at the center there. So what I'm going to do is take these vertexes in the center, I'm going to deform, create a cluster. That cluster should be right smack dab in that center. So you would think that it would be in this center as well. Wonder. the center. It should be the center. Uh, to form a cluster. Uh, okay, well the handle's there in the center, right? Okay, yeah, the Ciso. All right, that's where... Uh, yeah, very good. All right, let's um, undo this, and I am going to take which one's this eye, this cluster handle, and point snap. So now, this should be left eye, and I can skeleton mirror. Now I've got right eye uh, at the opposite orientation, but actually what I'm going to want is skeleton. Orient joints. You know how frustrating it probably is for someone to have to watch me, like, stumble around? Let's grab these, unparent them, we're going to apply, so these are both oriented to world. And... Uh, parent them back here to... So this is head. Uh, we could say jaw one. Uh, and maybe uh, head and then right eye, left eye. So if I look front view, those should be right there in the mid middle. Yep, looking good. All right. And the question would be, do I feel like I want another joint here in the middle of that neck? Because this will move the neck, this will move that. Object mode, turn that off. And I do want to orient this seam as like this is oriented so that they all Work correctly and actually let's unparent this I want to take this neck joint and my spinal end joint and I want to kind of point snap it I'm gonna grab the neck joint uh, I should I'm gonna go world I'm just gonna go straight up from there. And I'll parent head. Go back to object. So let's apply that again. Okay. So, and then if I go neck to spine five, spine five is actually going to 
Actually, I wonder if I duplicate this, delete those, and just kind of, I've seen people do this, I'm not sure. And put this under spine five, and then the neck will go under spine five. So this would be like spine end, um, which is just to keep the orientations going the right way. Um, which would then change, so this would all be consistent, and then some kind of change a bit there. It's hard to keep a lot of this stuff straight, and that's kind of the point of this, is to help me kind of remember, keep doing stuff the way I like to do it, and 